2018 though, that's when I could say like, like 2015 I was locked in. I wasn't. I ain't gonna say I was. I wasn't as serious as I was. Like 2018, that's when I started saying, "Yo, I gotta start moving around." Like I, I started building build my buzz up and all that, like, and I started really seeing it like out. Like I'm going out, people saying and shit. Like, "Yo, bro, I've been hearing your shit." It started to get to a point. I'm starting to get some errors now on my shit. So. Results. Yeah, yeah, right. That's right. when I started saying, like, all right, you got the people fucking with you now. It's, it's go mode. Like, now you need to start hitting, performing. You need to start, you feel me? Yeah. Shit like that. So, what you got, uh, what, what are you, uh, what projects do you have coming out right now? Uh, I got a tape I'm working on right now. I ain't dropped a tape the whole 2022. This damn near almost two years, I ain't dropped a tape. And that's just what life shit is coming in between losing friends and shit like that. Right. It's making me not really want to do music. It should have made me, but kind of put me in a slump a little bit. Let's, let's talk about that. Um, what happened with that situation? You said you lost some friends, you lost some people. Okay. Yeah, I lost about four homies, man. I lost my man Siak. I lost Quell. I lost Lil. And I lost my man Tazi, too. Mm -hmm. He wasn't really a Of my circle, but that was my guy. Though, like he was, he was somebody close to me for sure. So um, I know you feel. I know you mentioned it. it's almost like you got writer's block, but um, it had to inspire you to do more, though. Yeah. You know I mean? For you to far as in, far as in life, it did. But far as like music, nah. Yeah. Well, maybe it'll, it'll, it'll get that in time. Cause not everybody, you know, I had lots of people that I took to, and I never wrote any songs about it. You know what I'm saying? I never really talk about it. so you know, um when you lose people that hit it affects people in a different way. So you got some artists out there that they take that and they like really embrace it and they turn it into music. And yeah. then you got other people where they do exactly what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? They kinda of shut down because they don't their emotions start to kinda of like they don't know which way. And then you got people like myself, I never wanted to make it seem like I was um trying to make a dollar off of it. The people that I love, right? Like, being gone, like you know what I'm saying. Like mm -hmm. I, it would be nice to have a great song, but I would hate. I, I would almost hate to have a hit song when I'm talking about my son passing away, and then that ends up being my hit. Like, right? To me, that would piss me off. Like everybody else, but I'm, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Like that's honoring, and I would be like, no, <coughs> I would feel kind of bad. No, I feel like I'm capitalizing, right, off of my emotion, and I didn't. I ain't what I'm doing. It. Right. But I feel like I've heard your music. Or I've heard you do a lot of other things. I've heard you freestyle. I've heard. Right. I feel like I don't think you're gonna hold it that long, though. I, I, from what I've heard, I feel like at some point it's gonna make its way out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you might not feel that way now. Right. But I don't see you being one of the ones to just hold it in because you yeah. seem like you're pretty vocal with your music and you express yourself well. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, um, what particular um songs do you have? Like, what do you have out right now? Uh, the last thing I put out my project, 2021, it was called Industry Shot. It was like a five-song EP. A little something I put together. Uh, it was kind of on the gritty side of me. I, I make more so, like, music like this. You know, real pain, shit like that. That's my lane for real, for real right. pain and stuff like that. But that tip, I kind of want more of the streets. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because I know the street niggas want to hear some some shit too. Yeah. So I kind of got a little bit more gritty on that EP. Like that whole EP, I got a little bit more gritty just to see if I could, you know, reach some more street people, you know, to bring them to me too. We as think, well as. We be thinking you know, At least we think, people, right. But street niggas are so different. <laughs> yeah, you don't really know what, <laughs> what the fuck the street nigga is now for changes and shit. I street thought nigga gonna stop at the skinny jeans. Street, street, street nigga can be anything. <laughs> street nigga can be anything now for real. Street niggas got colorful hair and all yeah. type of shit. Oh man, I remember when corny niggas used to be corny niggas. Like, yeah, corny right. niggas like the street nigga. The street <laughs> niggas is corny. <laughs> niggas. Yeah, so Some of most of like, the street wow. niggas is corny. It's amazing to me. What you know what I'm saying? Um, what what will you be releasing? You know, um, like what what's your plan? Because I know you you got some singles and stuff. Like, are you planning on an EP? Are you like coming out with a full? I'm kind. I'm album? great. Come out with or a whole tape. Like, I'm great. Come out with a whole tape. The whole 2022, I ain't dropping no music. I'm great. Come out with a whole tape, and I'm gonna give them like my first tape, my first real real tape I dropped. It was probably like a nine ten song tape. 
Yeah. This time, I'm going to give them, like, 12, 13 tracks. I'm going to give them, like, that whole year I took off, I'm going to be like, damn, this nigga, he came back on some shit like, a, you know what I mean? I'm going to give him something, something mm-hmm. like that. Like a big, like a nice tape, not no no EP. I'm coming with a whole tape. Yeah. And I'm going to try to get at least, like, one major feature, too, for somebody that got some shit going on. I'm going to try to right. at least get that, too. I got to start working with people more, too, man. people in the city. Yeah, I mean, for, sometimes, you know, it's good to work with a lot of people, but you still got to be selective. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's good to be selective. You know what I mean? For y'all young listeners out there, when he say tape, he talking about, like, the shit y'all be streaming, music. Mm-hmm. You know I mean? He ain't talking about scotch tape. <laughs> you know, new generation, they don't even know what you're talking about. They be like, right. what's that? Right. <laughs> you know, it was before a CD. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I but, um, damn, I miss the mixtape, y'all. I really do. We had K Slade, S and S, and what was that chick name, man? Lady, Lady K or some shit. I can't remember. Man. Yeah, y'all should have known what that one was. Man. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, mixtapes was the shit. Yeah, man. I remember coming up and, and um, seeing Wayne come yeah. up on a mixtape and Meek Mills and things yeah, like Wayne, that. Wayne was definitely the. Um, he was kind of like the new era. He was like the that. I, I would want to say the last one of the last of the. The mixtape people, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like he was like as far as to go hard with that shit, even when the last, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But um, but I mean, you know, the mixtape, the name mixtape always survived, which is kind of cool, you know, that taping ain't actually here, but we still call it mixtape. So yeah, that's one of those hip hop things that have never changed. You know what I'm saying? Um, how do you feel? I mean, hip hop just turned fifty or so. They they kind of arguing about the dates now, but mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying. But we know it's fifty at least. Right. How does it feel to you? Do you feel like um? Do you feel like hip hop is a older man sport, a younger man sport, a mix of both? I mean, with I feel like it's in, I feel like it's a mix of both. To be honest, but I feel like the older older paved the way right. for us, of course. Because without them, shit, nobody else probably wouldn't even be rap. We wouldn't have nobody to look up to, but... I know I know. in um, in our culture, we don't often uh, do the, the uh, classic music or the artists before us any justice, right? And the white folks, I ain't going to say the culture, I'm going to call it what it is. Yeah. <laughs> white folks, they often go back and do songs with the rock and roll stars, and they always pay homage by listening to the music. If you had one... Older artists that paved the way to do a song with who would you choose? Jay Z. I knew I started to say anybody but Jay, but <laughs> yeah, I had to go Jay Z because he like, I knew Jay name was gonna surface in there somewhere. Somebody like, like, I can't like really that. blame you on that one. Like either. Nas, Wayne, yeah. somebody like that. Somebody that the lyricists. Yeah, the lyricists. I like the lyrics because that's my type of language. Rap the lyricists in the game. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't knocking nobody that do their own yeah. shit. Nah, but those, those are the good ones. I, mean, I, I like to rap like that, so they, they are older ones, and they did help. You know, Jay especially was definitely one of the ones that was still around during the paving of yeah. the situation. You know, he came in. Hip hop was hip hop, but at the same time, it wasn't. It wasn't what it is now. When right. came in the game. Um. So, if you want to leave behind a legacy, like you know, when it's all said and done, you you moved your mom. You know, you've had your success. What's the end? What's the end game? Do you become a CEO of a label? Uh, do you move on to another business that you're looking at? Like, what, what's your, what's the after years looking like as far as music? Or is there are are are, or are there any after years at all? Or will it just be that's what you do? Uh, I would uh, get into real estate. Mm. I get into real estate um, and just start investing. Well, I'll probably invest along the way, but I'll probably invest a whole lot more into a whole lot of other shit. Probably try to be something in the music industry besides a rapper. Like, after I did the rapping thing, yeah. I probably try to do something else. Kind of like with Jakey. Yeah. yeah. Kind of try to be a businessman of the shit at that point, and then just try to put somebody else in position yeah, the next person up. Even Rick Ross bought him a bunch of Wayne stocks and shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like a bunch of food franchise. Yeah, he, he, he like wings. He bought a wing spot. Like, like, like a whole franchise. Like, nigga, he need a lot of wings. Nigga bought a whole franchise. Mm-hmm. But um, that's what's up, man. So um, 
What you got coming up show wise? Do you have any shows coming up? Uh, I'm supposed at to anything? have a show um in September, but it ain't to the end of September. Uh, it's supposed to be around like same Yeah, it's like, <laughs> it's like a month from now. <laughs> but, uh, you say that yeah, around like this month a week. Around like this time um next month, I got a show up uh up Philly. Or whatever, so uh, I keep everybody updated on that. If y'all follow me on any social media or anything like that, yeah, I keep everybody. So these are my next one. Yeah, tell the people where, the, where they can find you. Where can oh, I man. Find you? Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok. I'm, I think I got everything, but on uh, Instagram, Shot Miliano, S H A M I L I A N O, on Instagram, that's on Facebook. Mm-hmm. Uh, Twitter, the same thing. Uh, Shamiliano one on Twitter, yeah. TikTok, same thing. Shamil, you get it. Yeah, you, all well, that's good though. Same I'm thing. Glad you, glad you did that because a lot of people don't do that. Like um, some artists got a different name for each. Yeah, I got the same name. name. I ain't gonna really switch really it up. Complicated. When you go search my name, everything <laughs> gonna come up on each yeah. John. It's gonna be me. And and people gonna can't be. even support you like they want to because right. you got different names. Because you got different, different names and shit like that. Nah. So, um, anybody you want to shout out? Say anything to about? Uh, I just want to say shout out to uh, all my guys. Rest in peace to my guys. And shout out to uh, my brother. He rapped too. Uh, uh, T Andy. So just keep be on the lookout for him. My other brother, Slum and K. Keep a lookout for him because both of them niggas coming too. Because if I make it, them two niggas coming for sure. Uh, uh, shout out to uh, who else? Damn. Um, shout out to damn the DJs that fuck with me in the city. Cause it's a lot of DJs I fuck with. I don't ever really get them. They flowers. Mm-hmm. A lot of niggas that supported me. DJ Nas B, uh, Kurt Prom, um, DJ Wayne Stacks. Uh, just a few niggas that, that supported me a long way. CMP Radio, mm-hmm. shout out to them too. Uh, yes Guy TV, mm-hmm. he another supporter that supported me. Um, yeah, man. That's pretty much it, man. Yeah, nah. <laughs> <That's>, nah. <laughs> nah, I ain't doing that. But <laughs> shout out to uh, uh, my daughter, though. Yeah, yeah, that would work. You know that what I'm work. saying? And that would work. That's about it. I ain't got no girls I'm shouting out. I ain't, I ain't yeah. in no relationship. Y'all just saying, we ain't getting around with y'all. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what's up, man. We appreciate you stopping through today. Mm-hmm. We're looking forward to hearing a lot for you. Yes, and uh, we'll definitely have some nice music on